Bing bong bing. I keep meaning to do jingle, but I need to download GarageBand. So welcome, welcome back. I hope some of you are finding these um, videos where I just rant at you um, helpful and informative. So in this spirit of uh, go trying to do it chronologically, apart from the first one, which was about axles, here's number video number two or th no, it's three or four, isn't it? Um, about this subject. So you've decided you want to be a truck driver. You've gone and got your test. You've passed your test. You've found a job and you're now driving a trucks. What is, why am I doing that? What is um, super important, but often underplayed by so many attitude. The reason I've got as far as I have, and for a, I'm not for a second being boastful or anything, people, some of the people online kept saying, you need to stop apologizing for being who you are. Um, the reason I got so far, because clearly my driving skill isn't all that, <laughs> um, it's just attitude. That's all it is. So many drivers, this industry is absolutely plagued with bad, bad attitudes. Often it's because, as lorry drivers, when we're spending most of our time on our own, we have, haven't got a fucking clue when it comes to how to treat people, talk to people. We're like recluses. But it's, that can all be changed. You just have to set out um, the way you want to go. So, like, so you t talk to the office reasonably and don't moan for any, like some drivers moan about absolutely everything. The problem is so many drivers in this industry um, feel that if they aren't moaning, they're going to get walked over. But in my experience, if you do, I'm going Tony Blair now, if you get on with what they give you, because the first few weeks of any job, they're going to give you a bit of shit and like the worst work they got because they want to suss you out. But if you just do it quietly and competently, the good work will flow. I know some people don't think so, but it's true. It is absolutely true. I tell you now, it is true. Um, so yeah, so like I say, this industry is plagued with bullshit. It's all the blind, like you hear them on the ferry and stuff. Oh, I told them, talking about when they spoke to the office. I told so and so with this, that, and the other. Blah, blah. And it's like you go and ask the person that's in the office and you think, and they retain, no, you didn't ask them at all. <laughs> There's a lot of big talk, but it's often backed up with no action in this industry. So that's something you need to learn very quickly as well. I was lucky because I got to learn it with dad. Um, who to take notice of and who not to take notice of. The not is so important because there is so much bad attitude, bullshit. And often when it comes to law questions, bad um, grasps of the law. But... Come and visit me. Come to uh, come to my. Uh, I can come to your assistance because I am a trucking genius. <laughs> I'm a trucking something. So yeah, always talk to the office with respect. Talk to the boss with respect. Talk to everybody with respect. Treat people as you would like to be. And sometimes they're going to give you shit. Um, shit work that is. And my view has always been. They can give you a shit run. You can argue and shout with them, and you're slam doing the run. Or as I do. You get given a shit run, you just have a little moan under your breath. Get on and do it. Do, do, do. So yeah, so but the um, attitude goes beyond your office, the work office, to everybody you deal with. So the police, <clears throat> um, or the DVSA, or customs, or um, customers. I mean, there was a spate, wasn't there, after we left the EU, of uh, lorry drivers having their... Um, Ham's taken. Of course, you can't. Um, oh, Why well, I just burp all the way through videos. Uh, then ham taken uh, because you can't import um, stuff like that into Europe anymore. Um, which I found baffling because it's like, why the God's name is a customs officer in your fridge? And do you know what that? Do you know why most of the time, the vast majority of the time? Because the driver has um, often abused them or talked down to them or spouted a load of nonsense and shit. Any, all anybody wants to do is have an easy life. No customs officer wants to have a reason to be rifling through your bloody truck. So don't give them one. Um, talk to them with respect. And it's the same with DVSA, formerly VOSA, formerly the Ministry of Transport. Um, 
many of you won't ever get pulled. I've been pulled a lot because I work for Irish and Dutch companies. <clears throat> and sometimes back in my, past my career, you couldn't go past the um, checkpoint without being stopped. So I had this, like going from Dover up to Holyhead with HSF, I had this really elaborate route to go around all the checkpoints. And I almost never got pulled and um, parked up either. But yeah, if you get pulled into a checkpoint, a lot of it, again, is your attitude. If you're going to go in there with a bullshit attitude, they're going to try and find something to do you on. And for most drivers, there is something there. Like, there's often infringements. And so, yeah, so, and, and with customers, again, with customers, you're present, you're, you are the face of that company. You are the face of the company that, the only face of the company that probably going to ever see. They, most interaction between companies when it comes to transport is the drivers. So try and uh, portray a good image. A good, good image. Uh, yeah. Even though they might be holding you up sometimes, a ridiculous amount of time, like Iceland and Swindon. Um, but yeah. And finally, anyway, so that's one of the things. But there's finally also reali re reliability. That is another thing that falls down in this industry you get so many drivers for some reason they'll say they'll do something and then just not turn up and things like that or be late or this any other um if you're going to say you're going to do something do it like the re one of the reasons i got on so well is people like whites or virginia but whites especially for instance could send me a text message saying this track's in the yard with these drops in italy on it off you go and like they know he knows people know white knows because I'll just get in there and do it with a minimum of fuss. Like on those longer runs, you might only ever speak to the office like when you would twice a week, two or three times a week. So yeah, that's the other one, reliability. So basically, they are the two building blocks upon you which you should build your trucking personality. Um, reliability and attitude. Have a good attitude, be reliable, and good things will come your way. I'm going to stop talking now because... I'm probably annoying you by clicking this pen. These are my favourite pens. It always has been since I was a child. My French teacher always used to have them. So I always used to think of them as French pens. <laughs> Mont Blanc what? Ha! <laughs> I've got a big, A four colour big. Um, oh, also, um, I'm going to start re, re taking my truck and driver cooking column up again so if you uh want information on anything that like what should i cover recipes maybe equipment stuff like that what would you like to read in the truck and driver food column april's out now and it's got me reviewing a certain type of food which will remain nameless so yeah that's it that is absolutely it good attitude be reliable and you'll go far in this industry. You'll go very far, very far indeed. Two things that are way more important than your as long as you're not hitting something every week or um, causing problems with uh, the public and stuff. Your driving ability comes quite a long way down the scale in terms of what they want most. And at the very top, attitude and reliability. So I hope you have a nice whatever day this is you're watching this. I'm now going to go and eat a sausage. Good day. Megan, just, I forgot somehow a really important part of what I was saying. Um, and I mentioned it in a previous video. So while you should have a good attitude and a just get on with it and do the job um, outlook, that isn't a reason to let them completely shit on you basically. You need to know where the line is. <clears throat> um, because there are companies out there, there are bad drivers, but there's also some very bad companies. You just need to know um, how to be, uh, what, they're, what they are like. So when you start a new job, it's as much you getting a gist of the company as the company is getting um, the hang of you. You basically need to get to know each other. And... Um, and this whole attitude thing could go just as well for the office side because uh, many offices have got a fucking stinking attitude as well. Um, basically, you give out what you get. But yeah, so don't 
take what I've said and think, that's fine. Luke has said I can run as bent as a nine bob note. Um, I don't. You need to know where to draw the line. And the drawing line is normally at maximum hours. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's the same with uh, unroadworthy vehicles. Not worth the risk. None of this is worth the risk anymore. I've driven all sorts of shit in my time and taken all sorts of risks running bent and whatnot. Um, would I do it now? No. It had its day. It's one of those things. It's brain freezing. Yeah, it had its day. Not worth it anymore. Just not worth it. So, um, so yeah, don't be walked over. And be, what you need to do is be prepared to walk away. Like if the shit really does hit the fan, and it has with me in the past, just be prepared to walk out that door and never come back. Good day. And again, right, so um, I never really cross promote enough on YouTube like most people do. So if you like that video, please like or subscribe. <laughs> um, but I'll put in the description below um, a link to my link tree, which is basically link trees, one of my favorite new features. It's just a website where you've got all your links. So now I've got all my links in one place. So if anybody ever wants anything, I'll just give them this one address and it will take them to wherever they want to go within reason. Uh, so yeah, go down there. You can leave a link tree. Um, uh, 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 I'm much more active on all of them now. I've always been very active on Twitter. Twitter is the place where it's less trucking and more just in general and politics. Instagram, pict pictograms, and uh, Facebook. My Facebook page is all trucking. It's dedicated to two here. Yeah. Um, and also, you'll see at the top is um, donation links, PayPal, and buy me a coffee. Um, Thank, I, yeah, I can't believe you, it's incredible. Like the ongoing donations, it's amazing. It's helping me uh, no end financially, uh, and helping me plan for the future because I'm going to go back driving. Um, probably on the four on four off, but I want to start spreading things out to do other things. So um, I'm going looking. I'm going to start becoming a D. Um, a driver CPC trainer, because I think I'd be quite good at that. <laughs> and um, there's another like little business I'm hoping to set up. But yeah, I, I plan to do, to start with, it'll be 50-50, but I want to move more into other areas. But it'll always still be in transport, so don't worry, I'll still be around and I'll still be making, talking shit at you. But yeah, so thank you for the donations. I'll never be able to thank everybody enough. But... Um, Yes, this is this reason for the increased content. It's the least I can do in return now. And I'm really enjoying it now. Like, I've really gone off the videos, making videos um, before the accident. Like, as you see from the last couple of years, I was very posted very little. Um, but, yeah, so um, everything has come together nicely now. And it's almost like a little job. So, yeah, thank you. PayPal, buy me a coffee. You've all been magnificent. Good day. I'm going to keep saying that over and over. That's my new catchphrase. Good day.